But you'd best prepare your ass for the fucking kick of the century. I have no idea where you'll land after it, but sure hope it'll be far away from me. Alt? Alt! You hear? Haven't caught on yet, have you? <laughs> what do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. So, seeing as we seem to have the soul split and out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean I... am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next step's to copy you into the gonk's brain. You two still plan to obliterate Makoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. You'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me. Exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer her psyche back into her brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Chris, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. Absolutely. Sure. Check again. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochip's nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. Everything, all, all, all we did, it was pointless. I have had enough of this, of everything. You most of all. Perfect, because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping me. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That light beyond the Black Wall. See? That's all. Could be the flames of hell. That's crazy. Might also be an ingram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data, but an animal still prowls inside us, and its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah, that instinct's part of being human, but so is denial. What's it like beyond the black? Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind, at least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around this construct? Just until we find another way. Finding another way would be making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. I don't know, uh, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? 
for folks like us. Wrong city, wrong people. Yet the right to make a choice you have earned through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. I said I wanted you to have my body. But... But I can't do it. I'm sorry. On your knees, huh? <laughs> Worry not on wash masses. Our wondrous lives in Night City won't change much, but when do they ever? We live midst dust and chrome, and midst dust and chrome we shall all die. Now for some good news and some bad news. Why'd you want to meet here? For the view? Or you turn in sentimental on me. So you do remember. I thought of it then as a one-time thing. I would help you, you would help. <sighs> Fuck. No, no, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. Had it in for the Raffins. You were out to get them with Mitch's and Scorpion's help. If they'd agreed, you'd have told me to fuck off then and there. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. Her find us. Can promise you that. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. About to turn on your heel, never see the city again. I think that makes you happy right now. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? It's possibly your last glance at those buildings. There. What I'm looking for. Do you think we'll ever find it? Doubt it. But maybe that's not so bad. If Night City taught me anything, it's to beware your dreams. Cause somehow they always find a way to come back and bite you in the ass. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. I don't worry about it, I'm fine. What's the plan? Everything is set. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear and set off. Yes, the road could be hard. But as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Biddy, good night and good luck. This is rot. I've heard enough. We've already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie. An Arasaka job. Think you know how that ended. 
I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyways, things will be different now. Gotta be. That will mess about Night City? What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Really? Then I can't wait. Of course, our new lives will be nothing but pure fucking chaos. Of that, I have no doubt. Doesn't matter. Gonna be a good life. I can feel it. And you'll sense it too. Damn. Girl, are you running from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk? Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Mitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks. A vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses. Toughened. Made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Teddy Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Gave us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs>